Now I want to show you the app and how it controls the lights. So now I want to change the label of this circuit from circuit one to front lights. So I can just quickly label it accordingly and save it. So on this screen I have a, a couple other features that I can set. Circuit memory, which all the circuits are set to when you turn off the key, the circuit will, when you turn it back on, the circuit will be in the off position. But if you set circuit memory to on, it will remember the setting you had when the neutrino was shut down. Here in the middle you have the circuit breaker setting. If you select on that, you can set it 10 amps, 9.5 amps, all the way down to 2 amps or off or all the way up to on this circuit the max is 12 amps. For this circuit I'm going to choose 10 amps and just hit back and that's saved. The third thing I can set on this screen on the lower portion of the screen here is how I want the circuit to perform whether it's on or off with the ignition switch or if it has a timer setting or, in, or there's a various other options here. So you can see the first setting, default setting, is ignition switch. Or you can set a timed delay that the circuit will stay on after the key is turned off. And you can set that up to four hours. That's useful for charging a cell phone when you're you know, at the campsite. You can set it for an hour so it'll charge your phone and then turn off without draining the battery of your bike completely. The final setting here is the voltage alarm setting. This is selectable. I'll show you elsewhere on the Neutrino, in the Neutrino Cockpit app, but right now it's set to 9.5 volts. So what that means is if this battery voltage drops to 9.5 volts, the circuit will automatically be turned off. So we're back at the home screen and we can see circuit one is now changed to front lights and I can tap on it and choose to turn it off and on. And as you can see, the associated LED on the circuit on the Neutrino is turning off and on. There are more settings that I can set, global settings, for all the circuits here in the tool-shaped icon. You can set your um, altitude display, your miles per hour, your temperature, um, Fahrenheit or Celsius, and then your time to 12 hour or 24 hour. So another way to view your circuits is to go to the composite view by tapping on your battery voltage, and you can see all of your circuits listed here, their current draw, and the breaker setting for them, the circuit breaker setting. And then you have totals down below of what you're drawing and the maximum of the neutrino, which is 60 amps, or the maximum of what you've configured the neutrino below 60 amps. And then so on the bottom left here, you, can, you see alarm volts. If you, if you select that, you can set your alarm voltage setting, which that's useful in two ways. One, that it'll monitor your battery and give you a warning on the Neutrino app that your battery has dropped to your selected voltage alarm and then any circuits that you have selected to be turned off by the voltage alarm they will turn off one volt below your set alarm voltage. So now you can see how to control a circuit in the cockpit app. So you can see when I turn the circuit off the light turns off, turn the circuit on, the light turns on. If you want to set these lights to a dimmable setting, you can see you can turn the light on and vary the brightness brighter and dimmer directly from the cockpit app.